All right, I'm back. I just submitted my application last night. And tonight I'm packing for the Academy of Otolaryngology in Nashville. The first thing I have to do is pack all of this. I have to iron my clothes. I have to clean this mess. I'm not looking forward to it all. And I gotta vacuum my apartment and clean my dishes. So I got a flight in about nine hours. Uh, so I got a lot of work to do. Let's get right to it. So you probably have a few questions about where I'm going and what's about to happen. I'm going to Nashville for the American Academy of Otolaryngology and International Surgical Sleep Society meetings. Why? For two main reasons, to network and to share my research. ENTs from all over the world are going to be at this conference, so it's a great opportunity to meet program directors, residents, and other faculty of programs where I want to do residency. I have three posters, one presentation, and a couple other projects that I'm on at these conferences, so it's a great way for me to get my name out there, introduce myself, and really show people the work that I've been up to for the past year during my research year. Anyway, I checked in at 8.30 for an 11 a.m. flight and I was instantly hit with this. Yep, my flight got delayed by like an extra two hours because of a rainstorm, but luckily, one of the things you have to learn in medical school is how to make use of free moments. Given that I was essentially just going to be sitting here for four hours, I went to work. I did my morning lab meetings, I finalized my posters, and I took care of some emails. After all that, it was finally time to board. As per usual for me, I slept through the entire plane ride. Uh, I didn't do a single lick of work, but we made it. One of the things that I had to do quickly was schedule my posters for pickup, so I kind of just wanted to get to my hotel right away, especially after that four hour delay. Um, I've got my tourism hat on firmly. <laughs> <laughs> You're staying over in Green Hills. Mm -hmm. There's a mall I saw like right across the street. That's our high end, like, you know, like Dolce Gabbana. Oh, Gucci. great. That's stuff I can't afford. <laughs> yeah, all the, all the stuff that's like so Hollywood, like it's Rodeo Drive. They have other stuff in there, you know, classic J.C. Penney and Macy's, and, nice. you know, that kind of thing. But yeah. that's that's that mall. That's like this is the wrong hotel. I'm gonna walk on the right one now, hopefully. Whee. All right, let's do this. Oh. Oh yeah. What the heck? I got a whole kitchen. All right. So, as you can see, I'm in. I'm in my hotel. This place is freaking fantastic. It's uh, pretty rainy still throughout Nashville, um, where I'm staying, but I'm starving. I just ordered my poster, so that's good to go. I got the pickup for 6.30 tomorrow, which is after the first conference is over. The first conference tomorrow is the International Surgical Sleep Society. So this is the one that's most relevant to my research. So super low stress. I doubt anyone's gonna ask me anything about my research. Uh, and I can just go there and enjoy and just kind of see what people are doing and support my team. On Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, it's the American Academy of Otolaryngology meeting. And that's also in the same location. It's just after the sleep meeting. And that's gonna be where I have two posters, one presentation, and then I have like a couple other presentations that I'm not presenting, but I'm on. So that's also not really something to worry about. So those are gonna be pretty packed days. Yeah, so the plan now is I'm gonna head over to the mall, which is literally, I'm looking at it across the street and I'm gonna get some food. I'm so excited, it's beautiful down here, guys. Uh, anyway, let's get it. This was actually my first time eating alone at a restaurant and it was actually quite nice. I got to order whatever I wanted and just sat in my own world for a bit. I didn't end up going to the Apple store, but I ended up meeting up with some of my team members and went out in Nashville. We went to Hattie B's, apparently hot chicken sandwiches are like the thing to eat down here, but as a vegetarian, all I could eat were fried pickles. We then went to some rooftop bars and there's live music everywhere. Literally every bar has live music down in Nashville. It's quite nice and they're actually really good. Guys, I'm running late. It's about 7.30 in the morning. Uh, they're doing the opening remarks right now for the Surgical Sleep Society conference. I'm trying to get there by 8 for the first lecture. 
The ISSS is definitely a smaller conference, but it is international. Last year, I remember meeting so many internationally recognized sleep surgeons, which was pretty humbling. It was no different this year, tons of people flocking from everywhere where there is sleep apnea to treat. I think the cool thing about what I do is that sleep apnea surgery is a pretty young field and there's tons of people with these problems. So with a large patient population comes a lot of funding and a lot of research interest. Welcome to the pool team. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> if I had to pick, I'd probably say I wanted to do sleep surgery as a career, but I'm going to keep an open mind for residency. Who knows what I'll be thinking in five years or even a year from now. We spent all day listening to talks and having discussion about how to assess treatment response, different surgical techniques, and even burning questions in our field. And it was quite fun going around trying to meet the other residents, students, and faculty. Of course, after every hearty discussion about sleep apnea, the next thing you want to do is drink alcohol. And that's what we did. Bike tour. My mentor really knows how to have a good time. He put on this bike tour for us and we had a blast driving around Nashville. It was about an eight mile tour. Super cool. We learned a lot about the history of the town. And honestly, it was just like a great team bonding exercise. And it just goes to show that the right mentor and the right physicians can just make the best environment for us pretty inspiring and you just feel lucky to be part of something so great. After the tour I was pretty wiped so I just took a nap and I woke up to this email. So in my slumber I rushed to grab my posters and hang them up in the city center which is humongous. I don't even know what noted means but just like add that to the list of unnecessary things I need to stress about. To steal myself some pins. Posters are up for 527 right here and 528 right there, right next to each other. I think now I'm just going to find a place to work and see if I can get this presentation figured out or I don't know. I'm kind of tired from today. I kind of just want to sleep. And I also didn't realize that there was a reception tonight. Um, a couple of the sub eyes that I worked with are going, so it just makes you feel like you're not competitive enough. Uh, for this kind of recruitment season, residency and stuff. Not my favorite feeling ever. But, I don't know. Oh well. We might have a slight problem on our hands. As you guys know, today is day three in Nashville. I'm getting ready for the academy. It starts at eight. Uh, it's about 7.15 right now. And as I'm putting on my navy blazer, I realized that I forgot navy pants so i got gray pants i'm just gonna hope that it's not what you wear it's how you wear it and be confident and if anyone has any issues then oh well head and neck surgery. after the opening remarks from our president i just attended some talks on projects that i was on it's a pretty crazy feeling being around all these head and neck surgeons and people that you want to be like one day there are so many conversations happening people interviewing for jobs catching up with old friends and networking for residency and fellowship spots I made it my mission to go around and meet at least a few people each day at the conference from programs that I applied to. It was definitely a little hard at first to just go up to somebody and introduce myself, but it's a lot like asking someone out or asking for someone's number I've found. It takes a lot of guts. I ended the day with a really cool hands-on session on jaw fracture repair. Look at my work. All right, guys, so it's uh, about 12.30 a.m. Uh, I'm about to head to bed for the night. I was just practicing my presentation. You can see my laptop open. My presentation's tomorrow at 8. Uh, I ran through it. I recorded myself. This is the kind of the stuff that I generally like to do. It's like my little pre-presentation ritual. I always recommend recording yourself before a presentation. I think you can really hear the way things sound, hear if you can follow along the concept, see if it makes sense to you. And so let's see, you know, let's see how it goes. Hopefully uh, it goes well. It's day four in Nashville. It's one of the final days nearing the end here. This is what I've got rocking. Pretty much the same outfit. I got my glasses tie clip. Get a good view of that. 
This is usually what I wear when I present. I'm early in the day actually at the eight o'clock session. So I'll get there, present, and then be kind of free a little bit until the poster session at 2.45 where I just kind of have to stand there. At this point, I'm pretty tired. I think the last few days were pretty taxing, both in terms of how much information I had to absorb and how social it's been. These conferences are no joke. Like as a student, I think you're on the whole day from waking up to sleeping. There's actually been almost no time to even explore Nashville, which is pretty surprising considering this is my fourth full day here. I will say that it's been very inspiring to see all these packed lecture halls of physicians trying to learn how to treat patients better. Uh, it's also nice to be in the space of the people you want to be like one day. It's Pretty excellent morale booster. There is a good amount of stress to this though, considering I'm a student who just applied for residency. I'm in the spot where I know I want this so badly, but it's not mine yet. It might never be. And no matter the outcome, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to live with that. That's a pretty harrowing thing to think. Way scarier than this presentation I'm about to give. This is the only image I got. One of the residents at Temple snapped this for y'all, so thanks, Sid. The presentation and poster sessions actually went really well, so I was happy to close out my research here with a strong showing. That evening, Temple actually had an alumni event at Justin Timberlake's club, and then one of my mentors got promoted, so I went out to celebrate with him afterwards. A couple more takeaways. It was a really nice to be able to represent two amazing institutions at this conference, and I got a bit closer to the residents and faculty from both departments. Talk about exhausted. It is literally 1 a.m. The next day, and I'm just getting back to my apartment or hotel, and I'm supposed to pack and get back to the academy by 8 a.m. tomorrow. Oh my god. It's the final day that I'm going to be in Nashville. Uh, I just have a couple talks, one starting at 8. Got ready, got a yellow shirt, green suit, white pants. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty casual today, um, a little dressed up, but... I'm gonna have to fly in this later, so I want it to be com comfortable. I have to pack all of uh, all of everything still. So, plan is to finish up the 1003 talk and then immediately leave, get back here, finish packing, and then check out and head to the airport for a 3 p.m. flight. All in all, it was just a really positive experience. I also think that it's given me a huge appreciation for how lucky I am. I mean, I say this as much as possible, and if you know me, it's never really lost on me, but. It'll really never be enough. Like, I can't mention enough how lucky I am to be in this situation uh, and how grateful I am for the opportunities. All right, that's it. Academy's over. I'm back in my apartment. I'm going to pack, check out in the next hour and head to the airport and wrap this whole thing up. It's been an excellent, excellent, excellent experience. I met a lot of people, saw a lot of old friends. I feel a little bit more comfortable in the situation now after it's all over. You know, I was a little nervous going into it because it was like a five, six day conference. I'm done. I've made it. I can relax.